And what Lincoln Riley does offensively seems to morph every year based off of who the quarterback is. But the 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 foundation of the offense is the same. In other words, they're going to run the same play, but they're going to run it from different formations based on the quarterback. So when you've got a guy like Kyler Murray with four sub 4-4 four, four speed, it seems like, you have a little bit more zone read options. You have a little bit more quarterback draw options. As opposed to a guy like Baker Mayfield, who's got pinpoint accuracy, keeps his head downfield, is, is not as much of a runner as he is a scrambler in extending plays. So you're going to have two different offenses for those guys. Though when Jalen Hurts, a big bruising type running quarterback, who's a better runner than he is a, a, a distance passer, so that offense is going to morph based off of sets and formations, but the fundamentals of the play are going to be the same. So a guy like Tanner Mordecai knows those fundamentals potentially better than the dude who's perceived to be the better of the two athletes. Spencer Rattler was a five-star quarterback prospect. He was the number one pro-style prospect in the country the number one rated prospect out of the state of Arizona. Alabama wanted Spencer Rattler. Oklahoma wanted Spencer Rattler. The, the list goes on and on. Now, he only had 14 scholarship offers because everybody knew he was coming to Norman. That didn't stop Notre Dame from offering. That didn't stop Texas. Didn't stop Texas A&M. And that list goes on. But here's the deal. You don't win a quarterback battle based off of your recruiting profile. You win a quarterback battle based off of what you do on the field. And that's where this, you can't see me, but I'm using air quotes. That's where this quarterback competition is moving to next. 